and um, get to the studio and meet Dayo. Yo. Hello, hello. What's going on? I think uh, we are in a good place uh, to work on the original and decide on the direction. What's up, bro? Fine. How are you? you? We both have a specific idea of how we want the song to sound. Excited about the magic we're about to create, of course. He's got something that he feels is supposed to be on the song. I'm from Addis, right? You can't skip from reggae, where I'm from. I'm thinking to have a little bit of that reggae vibe in it. I'm I have prepared one more thing for him, and I think he'll like it. This is a very welcome idea. A reggae beat is, is something I've rapped on in the past before, and it would be nice to do it again. So this beat has that uh, rough signature on it, and um, I just feel I need to also add a bit of a Chef 187 element to it. So is there a possibility of making a fusion of what is big in your country mm -hmm. and what is also big in my country, which okay. is reggae and... And, and Afropop. Yeah. Back home, the genre of music that a lot of people consider the authentic Zambian sound has a lot of drums in it. Hoax Studio has like one of the great percussion. Yeah, Kasiva. Her name is Kasiva. She's yeah. awesome. She's really awesome. Yeah. What I'm trying to achieve by uh, suggesting that we put drums on it is just to give people that bounce and that edge to dance. I brought a couple of instruments from my country, yeah. which is still very authentic, and we can add those instruments in it. Now we have idea as a beat. The first thing is going to be finding a ways to add the instruments that I brought, and then something that can represent Zambia as well. What do you say? Yeah, it sounds awesome.